This is Isaac Ferry with Crop Tech Consulting bringing you this week's edition of Technology Tuesday. In this week's segment, Brad utilizes an electric motor to check bearings, chains, and shaft alignment on the planter. What we're going to do here is we're going to run this planter unit using this uh, electric motor. We're going to check a couple things when we do that. Uh, this motor right here is a third horsepower motor and we've got it set up to turn 60 RPMs. So one of the first things that we're going to look at is we're going to look at the shaft alignment from our meter to our clutch on the side of the planter unit. So to do that, one of the easy things we can do is we can go back here and unhook this latch. And when the latch is unhooked, we're going to go ahead and start our motor driving. So we've got our motor driving without our clutch engaged. I'm going to go ahead and engage this clutch. And when I engage it, we're going to look for this box to see if it bounces. So we can see here with this box bouncing, we know that we have an alignment issue with the shaft and the meter itself. Uh, so with this particular uh, clutch, we'll have to go ahead and shut this off. We can move that clutch around uh, in the row unit itself and try to bring things back in line. Alright, another thing we need to check on the row unit uh, that the motor itself is helpful with is our bearings. So a lot of times the only way we know we've got a bad bearing is when it's completely out. The way we can check that in the shop is we can run that, that bearing and shaft with our electric motor and we can use a screwdriver uh, as a listening device uh, and listen for any abnormal sounds. Anybody that's done this before will realize that a good bearing will have a, a nice smooth sound to it. There won't be any roughness or grittiness uh, coming from the bearing itself where one that's a little bit more wore out, uh, you'll, you'll hear some roughness and almost like there's gravel in the bearing. So again, to do this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start our motor. And in this case, we're going to hold our, our screwdriver against the bearing itself. And we'll actually hold that up to our ear and be able to listen and hear, hear that gravelly noise. Another thing that we can use our electric motor uh, for in checking over our planter is we can check the condition of the, the chains and chain tensioner uh, components on the row unit itself. So what we're going to look at here is we're going to look at the condition of this tensioner. In this case on a John Deere 7000 unit, both of these wheels should be turning. Uh, in this particular row unit we got the top one locked up, uh, so we're going to have to give it some attention. The other thing that we're going to look for is any frozen up link. So if we have a frozen up link, as it comes over this idler pulley, it's going to bounce. So any, any type of bounce or erratic movement here is going to tell us we're going to have to do something with the chain. So we'll go ahead and we'll fire our motor up. And now that we got it running, you can see here again our tensioner needs some service. Um, the top um, pulley isn't turning and we're watching for any frozen up links. In this case, I don't think we'll see any uh, in this chain, uh, but it is something we want to look for. The other thing we want to look for is that we scroll back here to the rear of the unit is the insecticide system. If you're running a dry insecticide uh, box like we are in this case, uh, the chain system back here needs to receive the same amount of attention as the one in the front. Reason being is any uh, complexities back here where this chain would be bouncing around uh, from frozen links or bad tensioners is going to transfer right back into our meter assembly, uh, giving us population and spacing problems there as well. So what we're doing here, again, is we're looking at the alignment of the clutch mechanism on the row unit uh, to the meter shaft itself. So what we've done is we've removed the coupling on the meat or on the clutch side here uh, and the spring and we're looking at how these two shafts align. A lot of times when that coupling's on there they can be up to an eighth of an inch off and you'd never see it. So with the coupling removed what we like to do is you can run your finger across the two shafts top, bottom and then turn the meter and do the sides as well and make sure everything's in alignment. If it happens to be out of alignment, you need to make the adjustment at the clutch on the outside of the row unit. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Technology Tuesday. Please check our website for more information and other videos.